North Berwick is just a short distance away. An ancient royal borough and popular seaside resort that has two sandy bays divided by the harbour, where the 12th century kirk dedicated to St Andrew is located. It was reported that here in 1591 the devil appeared to a congregation of local witches and wizards. In the foreground, the Bass Rock rises dramatically some 350 feet out of the North Sea, little more than a mile offshore, one of a number of volcanic plugs in the area, about a mile in circumference and home to one of the largest colonies of gannets in the country. The British Isles are home to some 13 gannetries, the breeding grounds for two-thirds of the world's population of the species, the largest in the world being St Kilda. The bird's Latin name, Sula Bassana, however, is named after the Bass Rock. Seldom coming on to dry land, with a six-foot wingspan, they wheel against the wind on barely moving wings, resting on waves when they must. The fishing technique is spectacular, as they dive-bomb their catch from heights of up to a hundred feet, with wings folded in to form a living arrowhead. Indeed, only during the nesting season are tens of thousands packed together here. So many huge webbed feet might seem a threat to the eggs. In fact, the gannets incubate with their feet, placing one over the other and both over a single egg. The chicks are at sea after some 90 days and will migrate as far as West Africa. Visible also is the Isle of May, five miles away and visited on the Kingdom of Fife title, with the Lomond Hills forming a final backcloth far across the wide Firth of Forth. To the rear of the town rises Berwick Law, 600 feet high and visible for miles. On top is an archway formed from the jawbones of a whale and the ruins of a Napoleonic watchtower. Tantallon Castle lies a couple of miles out of town as we head en route to Dunbar. First mentioned in 1374, located on a headland above a hundred foot high cliffs, surrounded by sea on three sides. The landward curtain wall is a massive 12 feet thick and 50 feet high, with a wide ditch in front. A stronghold of the Douglases, the Earls of Angus, it's built of local rose-red sandstone. The castle was attacked in 1528 by King James V and last attacked by General Monk in 1651. The castle today remains a romantic ruin of noble proportions. 